In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a layer of protection on your GoodNotes by adding a password to the app. So let's begin. There are multiple ways on how to add a password to the GoodNotes app, and the first one is through the GoodNotes setting. In the library view, tap the gear icon located in the top right corner, then go to the settings, then document privacy, and then set up the password protection. And here you can set up the password that will lock your notes, then re-enter the password to reconfirm. And here is a password hint which is optional and it will be shown after 3 failed attempts. And for me, I will be setting this one up because I might not remember the password that I have just set up here. But it is optional so you can just leave this blank. For the Face ID to unlock documents option, I recommend that you turn it on because once you have forgotten the password that you have set, you will not be able to access the protected documents and those documents will be lost forever so I recommend to turn on or toggle on this Face ID option to have another way of accessing the documents that you have protected. And once that is set up, tap continue and then tap yes create password. The password is now created. So this password is a master password and you can now lock notebooks that are in your GoodNotes app. So you can also set the password or add a lock protection to a specific notebook from the library view. Just tap the downward arrow icon beside the name of the notebook, then tap the add lock option. Then set the password up if you haven't set it up yet and enter the password if you want to add a lock to the notebook. If a notebook is password protected, you will see this icon here. You can also set up the password in a document view. In an open notebook, tap the more option which is the three dots in the upper right and under setting, tap add lock. Accessing these protected notebooks is easy. Just open the notebook as usual and you will be prompted to enter the password or through the face ID or touch ID if those are turned on. One of the limitations of this new feature in GoodNotes is that you can only set up one password for all of the notebooks and the password is only applicable to notes and not folders. To remove the password protection on specific notebooks, you can just repeat the process from the library view or the document view but instead of adding the lock option, we are going to remove it. And if you want to change and delete the master password, go to the library view, tap the gear icon, then go to the settings, then document privacy. And here you can change or delete the password. You can also turn on or off the face ID or touch ID from here. If you're planning on sharing your notebooks through collaboration or exporting the file, the password will not work. For sharing via collaboration through the GoodNotes app, before sharing the document, you will be prompted to remove the lock. And if you export the document, the password protection will not be retained. So keep this in mind if you plan to export or share a lock notebook. And in line with those, if you have set up auto backup in your GoodNotes app, this will not work on the locked documents. So if you want to have a backup for your locked documents, make sure to do a manual backup. Or you can just turn on your iCloud sync. If you have other questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And this is Kazel, and until next time, bye!